Page 25, The Juggler. A lot of staccatos here. And then some legato sticked in there. Now let's talk about it. 4-4 four, four time. Starting out with the... Uh, let's kind of take both hands together. Let's see if we can do that. At the beginning, your right hand is starting on middle C, your thumb. So you're in this position. The That's the left hand. Right, left. Yeah, whatever. Here. The right hand, your other right hand, is here. Thumb and third finger on C and E. So you're in this position. You're here. And it's one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, four time. We've been through this time signature a million times, so that's okay. So forget the staccato and legato. We got to get the notes and the rhythms and the fingering and all that first. Just one thing at a time here. So at the beginning, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the second line is very similar, and then let's go to the third line because that's where the juggling happens. Look out. You're starting out with the right hand here, C, and then the left hand plays middle C, and in the second measure, the right hand crosses over to play the C down below, and then the left hand plays middle C again, and then the right hand comes back up to the low C's, left hand. In the last measure, the right hand crosses over again, and then the C, and then the last line, the right hand does the first two C's, then the left hand, and then the right hand for the second measure, the right hand crosses over to get those, and then the left hand, and the right hand comes back. Isn't that fun? There's other ways we could finger it where you don't have to cross, but they want you to cross. It's good practice. Let's do it. That's part of that juggling thing. I already put in staccatos. In them. So let's talk about it. Because once you get the notes and the rhythms and you know where you're going, then you go back and do the articulation and the dynamics. Medium loud, it's all, just play it all medium loud, don't worry about that for now. The first two lines are medium loud, and the third line you get soft, or medium soft, sort of, just come down a little bit. There's not a lot of difference between medium loud and medium soft. And then the last line, the last two measures, you're loud. That's, that's like the, now we're done. Staccatos, I do a wrist staccato here through both hands. One, two, just bounce off the keys, have fun with it. How high you go is up to you. It's not important. I mean, you can go very little. It's fine. I have fun depending on how much coffee I've had. Legato. Then the second line is similar. And then when you get to the third line, it's all staccato. Rest. 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 One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last line again. Staccato. One, two, three, four. One, two. Rest. Then it's off. Now, a little technical thing I'll throw in here at the end, the last measure. The left hand has a dotted half note. You can hold that down until beat four. One, two, three, four. You come up on four because the beat ends when the next beat starts. The right hand has staccatos. So at the end of the piece, there's an instant there where the left hand is by itself again. That ends the piece, because the right hand had that staccato and it's done. But the left hand has to stay down until beat four. What people tend to do is they'll lift them at the same time. Like that. And that is incorrect. Don't do that. Actually, it's an interpretive thing. You might interpret it that way, but right now we're not doing that. Play it exactly as written. That's what we need to learn to do. So hold that down until beat four. One, two, three, four. And then you lift up. You get the same thing at the end of the second line where you're holding that down and it's staccato. The right hand or the left hand has to stay down until beat four. So be careful on that, those two places. At the bottom, they ask you if you can memorize the piece. Different people memorize at different speeds. 
some people just have a tough time memorizing. I've been kind of blessed in that. I tend to memorize very quickly. It's kind of nice, but you know, you're, it's, if you play it enough, you'll memorize it. So, I mean, this is something you might play for people if they want to hear. It's kind of fun. And you get to move around, show off a little bit. I'd like to play it with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the dynamics. You can do the dynamics on, on your own and whatever, but let's do the notes and the rhythms slowly. So go ahead and put your hands where they go to start, and I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go. Rest, 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 four.